welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time watching this channel please do subscribe down below if you are a returning subby welcome back to my channel um as you might have seen from the title today we are going to be doing a makeup beginners kit i have my kit right here which is it's a decent size i got it from take a lot and yeah if you are looking to try makeup and you are interested in makeup then this is the video for you all right so let's open the box so you open it like so and this is oh my gosh how it looks like inside i hope you guys can see and then it kind of has these drawers that you open and you can put things inside there's six of these and then there's also some space here at the bottom where you can put your makeup okay so let me take you guys through what's inside your makeup kit the things that you need first and foremost we have makeup brushes there they are I bought these at Shein and they came in a pack of 11 brushes and they were 53 rand, I think. I've had them for quite a while, guys. They are proper quality and I, I recommend these. So before I move on, I need to take you guys through the different brushes, the different essential brushes because when I started with makeup, I kind of like didn't know which brush to use for what so i do believe that if you're a beginner as well that's what you're also going to struggle with so let's go through the brushes so first up we have your foundation brushes i'm so sorry guys that they're dirty i was using them we have the flat foundation brush and the fluffy foundation brush i think that's what it's called and this is what you use for foundation or you can use a beauty blender and then for your eyebrows you use this kind of brush it has the concealer side and a spoolie to brush your eyebrows up and in shape and then we have your powder brushes this is a big powder brush obviously to dust off the rest of your face and then we have this one just to set or bake your face and then we have a contour brush it's kind of like angled like this i don't know if you guys can see this is what you use to contour your face and then we have these kind of brushes small brushes which you use for your eyeshadow so those are the basic brushes you can literally get a fan brush for highlighting your face but you can still use other brushes as well as long as you have these kind of brushes then those are your basic brushes for your makeup okay moving on to eyebrows so for my eyebrows, I use a pencil, a brown pencil. Guys, a brown pencil, please. Don't use black unless you are very, very light. And you must also be light with the black one because, honey, not black, please. So I got this pencil from um, this cam ages ago. I don't even remember how much it was but you can use that or you can use soap sunlight to have um soap eyebrows or you can use the gel that you use to lay your edges that will work so next up we have concealers and i think you guys know which concealers i'm gonna show you these are the it goals of concealers so it's your LA Girl Pro Concealers, um, one to highlight and one to contour. I use the shade Espresso to contour my face and the shade Fawn to highlight my face. Got these at Discam. I think they retail for 
60 something rand the last time i checked but as you guys can tell i'm almost out so i need to go buy these if you are not a fan of the la girl pro concealers then you can try the maybelline fit me concealer as well as avon concealers i have this avon concealer it's like a stick concealer in the shade n401 i hope that's the shade got this from avon cosmetics guys moving on to foundation now with foundation i'm going to start with the first foundation i used for my makeup it is this um stick foundation from signature cosmetics in the shade caramello i don't think you guys can see this is a good foundation and i think i bought it for 80 rand at the time i highly highly recommend this and then my favorite oh i need to pose for this one i need a moment so this foundation is the rimmel london foundation in the shade golden caramel this is the full coverage foundation there's the other one which is not full coverage which has a blue lid i'd also recommend that one but full coverage all the way up next we have um your makeup palettes which is quite a lot i have quite a lot so if you are a makeup beginner i'd i'd recommend that you get a palette a makeup palette that has nude colors which are your browns your golds your pink your orange those ones will work for you first palette i have here is the la gold nudes which retails for 100 rand um it's quite dirty it has a mirror and i think it has like 12 shades as you guys can tell these are like gold um a little bit of pink a little bit of brown a little bit of purple and i highly recommend a palette with a mirror because sometimes you just you don't have a mirror and it helps you know and then the second um palette which i'm not gonna open because it's broken but i love it is the revolution um reloaded velvet rose palette this is what it looks like as you guys can tell they have quite similar shades it's got your browns which you can also use to contour your face actually um you can also use the shimmery shades to highlight your face so yeah this one will help you it comes in very handy and then we also have this um makeup palette also from revolution and it has a mirror as well and these are the shades ah i use this quite a lot hence i've hit pen in some of the sorry some of the makeup colors i really love this one and i think they retail for 130 rand less than 150 rand actually moving on to mascaras i have always used these mascaras guys these are the essence mascaras i have the essence lash princess mascara and the volume curl mascara i don't know if they still have these i bought these this one ages ago and i love it i also have this one i love essence mascaras and they are very affordable moving on to setting powder for setting powder i use this makeup revolution banana deep powder i love this stuff it retails for 170 rand i think but it, it really lasts you moving on to 
prepping and setting your face i use this um nivea rose care hydrating face mist with organic rose water to hydrate my face before i use my makeup and then i use the maybelline lasting fix setting spray to set my face this is the best the best setting spray that you can get and then moving on to highlighter um i use this essence the highlighter in the shade 10 that's how it looks like and i think i got this for 65 rand not sure i'm not sure about all of the prices guys <laughs> and then for face powder this is quite embarrassing like the way i use this product it's it's finished it's, it's finished it is the essence mattifying compact powder in the shade toast and that's how it looks like as you guys can see i say like i use it a lot and then for what do you call this for your eyeliner for the winged um look or the cat look i use the essence super last eyeliner in the shade deep black this is how it looks like and when you open it this is how the bristles look like i really love this like it really lasts moving on to lipsticks <laughs> now with lipsticks guys i don't buy expensive lipsticks i'm sorry like no i don't see the need for me to be buying expensive lipsticks so my lipsticks are very affordable like china mall lipsticks basically so i have a lot of lipsticks i won't show you all of my lipsticks but i'll show you the basic colors that you need first up i have my favorite if you know me you know i love a red lipstick this is the miss signature just matte lipstick in the shade orange that is what it looks like i think i bought this for 90 rand at miss signature miss signature has really good makeup products you guys should check it out and then i have this nude pink color um i bought this at legit it is in the shade brown matte but it looks quite pinkish and this is how it looks like i also love this product and then next up i have um the avon lipstick matte lipstick this is not really matte it's it's a matte but it's not uncomfortable on your on your lips it doesn't dry out your lips and this is the color it looks like um almost like a wine red color and the shade is superb wine but this from avon obviously and then i have this this is not a mac lipstick guys this is dieting it much i need I tell you my Chinese guys, China Mall, but it's Mac. <laughs> it is in this purple color. A bold lippy is very important. This is in the shade Instigator. And then last but not least, guys, you need something to remove your makeup. You can't sleep with your makeup, please. So I have the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And this is what I use to clean my makeup. Oh, that's actually not lost. And then I have this Duo Eyelash Adhesive Lash Glue in the shade Dark Tone. If you are a beginner, I'd, I'd highly recommend that you get the one with the clear tone it has a blue 
labeling instead of a red one because yeah it will just be messy if you use this one instead so that is it guys for my beginner's makeup kit i really hope um you guys learned something from it i do not remember all of the prices but you can you know comment down below or dm me on instagram and then i will reply on the products that i remember and their prices um yes so i hope you guys enjoyed the video guys i really hope you did um please subscribe like comment and share this video and i will see you in my next one pretty soon pretty soon Ooh.